Hey friends, Mike here with Learn Audacity. In today's video, I'm going to show you why you should not have treat mono as dual mono checked when you're doing loudness normalization. If you check that, the value that you've got typed in there to set your luffs level is not going to be met. It's going to be 3 dB lower than the value you have typed into that window. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm going to demonstrate that for you in this video today. So in this window that I've got open here, I've got one mono track that I recorded a few minutes ago just to, just to illustrate what I want to show you in this video. So before we get too far into this, I want to duplicate this track. Now I'm on a Mac, and so I'm going to hit Command D to duplicate that track. If you're on Windows, I believe it's Control D. But if not, feel free to let me know in the comments. Now that I've got that track duplicated, I'm going to, I'm going to solo the top track, and then I'm going to unselect that bottom track just to make sure that we don't run into any problems here while I'm trying to demonstrate this. Now with that top track selected, it's soloed, it's selected, I'm ready to put some loudness on it. So let's go back up to the effect drop down menu and let's come down to loudness normalization. And you'll see I've got it set for a minus 19. It's a mono podcast, so that's the level that I would use as a minus 19 to set my luffs. But you'll notice too that the option to treat mono as dual mono is selected. It says recommended in parentheses, so it must be a good thing, right? If I'm not mistaken, when you first install Audacity, that is always checked by default. But when you're setting a LUFS level for your podcast, or if you're doing like YouTube videos, you don't want that checked. Let me show you why. If I leave that checked for now, and I hit OK, you'll see that it sets the LUFS to what I think is a minus 19 dB in that top track. But let's come down next to the bottom track and let's solo it and let's select it and let's do the same thing on the bottom track, but let's uncheck that option. So if I come back down to my loudness normalization window now and I uncheck treat mono as dual mono and I hit OK, you'll see a difference in the loudness or the amplitude of the waveform once it levels it to the minus 19 luffs. And you can see just by comparison that that bottom track has a higher loudness to it. The waveform is bigger. The waveform is larger. It has more amplitude. It's louder than the top track. And it's louder than the top track by 3 dB. Now, in order to show this to you, I'm going to come back up to that top track one more time. And I'm going to solo that top track. And I'm going to export it as a wave file. So I'm going to come up to File and then export and export it as a WAV file. And once this comes up, I've got a folder already created called Audacity, and let's call this top, because it's the top waveform, right? And so I'm set at 32-bit uh, float for my a bit depth, and let's hit save. This box, it comes up because I do audiobooks. When I'm doing audiobooks, I always have to fill this out for each chapter. But you can turn this off just simply by checking right there in the box in the bottom left where it says don't show this when exporting audio. I'm going to tell it OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom track. I'm going to select the bottom track. I'm going to solo the bottom track. And then I'm going to repeat that process. I'm going to export it as a wave. It's going to put it in the same directory. But this time I'm going to call it bottom since it's the bottom track. Sounds good, right? And hit OK there just to get through that. So next I'm going to go to my Finder window because I'm on a Mac. And if I click on my Finder window and I go into that same directory, you'll see that I've got my two files there, top.wave and bottom.wave. Again, top.wave had that check mark checked, bottom.wave had it unchecked. But the assumption is I exported both of them at a minus 19 LUFS because that's what I had typed into the setting window, right? I had a minus 19 LUFS. But let me show you the difference. I'm going to go to my Alphonic desktop app. This is a standalone app that you can purchase from Alphonic. I'll have a link in the description below in case you want to. This is what I use in lieu of their uh, web version of Alphonic because I can use this when I'm offline. And it does the same thing and it does it really well. The reason that I want to use this is because it will tell me the LUFS level of the file before it levels anything. I can't do that in Audacity. I have to do it here. Now, I know Audacity has some plugins that you can purchase to do that. I don't have those because I use this. 
So again, this is the Alphonic desktop app. And what I'm going to do is simply drag my two files into here, the top dot wave and the bottom dot wave. And what this is going to do when I process these files is this first column right here that says input, it's going to tell me the, the value of the waveform as I bring it into Alphonic before it does any processing to it. The output column is going to be the after processing. And so I'm going to get a before and after picture of each one of these files. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to click process all files and it shouldn't take but a few seconds and there it is. And again, I've got the top.wav file selected and you can see over here in the input column that it's a minus 22.11 LUFS. But I had it set in Audacity to export it a minus 19 LUFS. It's 3 dB lower. We'll talk about that more in just a second. But you can see that the input or the file before uh, Alphonic did anything to it was a minus 22 LUFS. If I now click once on the bottom dot wave, you can see that it's at a minus 19.1. In other words, you can see that Audacity did a good job in leveling that file. But remember, the bottom one was the one where I had that checkbox unchecked. So by unchecking that checkbox, I am actually leveling the audio to whatever I have typed into that window in Audacity. If I have the checkbox checked, it's going to export the audio that I'm exporting 3 dB lower than what I have typed into that window. So let's go back into Audacity here for just a moment. And let's take a look at this. I'm going to come up to the effect window again. I'm going to bring up loudness normalization. And on these plugin windows that come with Audacity, you'll see there's a question mark over here in the, in the bottom right corner. Anytime you have a question about one of these plugins, you can simply click on that question mark and it will open up the Audacity manual to that section. And if you open up the Audacity manual to this section for loudness normalization, the explanation there is that treat mono as dual mono has to do with the EBU or the European Broadcast Union's specifications for LUFS loudness. And you can click on that question mark and read their explanation for yourself. But it's really designed around the European Broadcast Union's specifications for LUFS leveling. And I suppose if you're in that environment, you're doing broadcast video, you need to follow that or your show will probably get canceled, I assume. But I'm not doing that. I'm doing podcasts and I'm in the Western Hemisphere. And so what I want is a true 19 dB LUFS in my mono podcast or a minus 16 dB LUFS in my stereo podcast. So unchecking that is extremely important. You should always make sure that that's unchecked when you're doing LUFS leveling in Audacity so that you can hit your LUFS target of minus 19 dB or minus 16 dB, whether it's mono or stereo. Now here's some good news. If I do ACX audiobooks, I'm not interested in LUFS or perceived loudness. I'm interested in RMS. So if I set the RMS level here in Audacity, you'll notice it grays out that second option. That second option is not available. It doesn't apply, so I don't have to worry about that. But I can set my RMS level for ACX audiobooks right here. But if you're setting this up for podcasting or a YouTube video, which my YouTube videos, I always set to a, a negative 15 LUFS. That's what you're listening to right now. After I process this audio, it's going to be set to a minus 15 LUFS. So I wanted to show you this. It's important to know this. And I'm finding out that a lot of people aren't aware of it. So I wanted to make sure that you're aware of it and that you understand what's going on here with this window. And I recommend always unchecking treat mono as dual mono in order to export the LUFS level that you think you're exporting that you typed into this window as your set point. And just real quick, I want to give a shout out to all of my students in the Audacity Bootcamp and in the ACX audiobook narration class using Audacity. I'm pushing close to 2,500 students now. I'm right there. I'm right at the, at the cusp of 2,500 students. And so a shout out to all of you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the interaction. I appreciate you enrolling in my courses. It's awesome. I'm really enjoying teaching. So until next time, you all take care and we'll talk again soon.